What is up, everybody? Yeah. What is up, everybody? Yeah. What is up? Welcome to <laughs> another episode of Couch Potatoes. <laughs> That's right. This is a music edition of Couch Potatoes where we're talking the hits, summer hits, winter hits, fall hits, spring hits. All if hits. it's a hit, we're talking about it. What did you say? All hits. All hits, yeah. Thanks for interrupting. Oh, well. But hey, we're back. He's um, cranky again, guys. So just I'm working on, on <laughs> two, three hours of sleep. <laughs> we're back in it, though. We got to bring the episode to you. Uh, s- stay tuned at the end for another announcement that we made in the last episode. But we kind of lied in that one. But this time, we're telling the truth. But yeah, welcome. Um, <clears throat> if you're not living under a rock... You have either already listened to or know that Kanye Yeezy has released a new album. And yeah, the, do you know what the title is? Isn't it just Ye? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is it just Ye? You know, it's funny because I tweeted something like, uh, I they put like Kanye West, Ye with the little hand like that and the yeah. bear. But I didn't know the album was called Ye. Oh. So I just, it was like the luckiest <laughs> guess. I was like, oh shoot, it's Ye. <laughs> Uh, Cause I just heard one song and I was like, "Oh, cool!" No, okay. And then I looked at it, I was like, "Oh, it is yay." <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna talk a little bit about the album. Then after, we're gonna discuss a little bit about um, who who's beefing? Who's beefing? Who's making beef? Who's making these beef patties? Pusha T, Drake, you know, a little bit of Kanye, good music, and Young Money, their little history. But yeah, let's start with the Kanye album. Um, I guess why. Your initial reaction score out of 10, what was it again? Uh, First, it was 6. And then it got bumped up 1 more to a 7. So seven. And, then, and then mine's just between... I've only heard it once, so mine's just between like a 7, 8. I got I to gotta listen to it again. Yeah, we, we yeah. listened to it like yeah, they five, to like times, six, yeah. Yeah. 5 times. <laughs> this is a lot. So we... What about you? Uh, I My first initial was an 8. And I think after listening to a couple times, 8, 8.5 is yeah. there. Um... Do you guys want to start off? Or? Well, I mean, I'll start off. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've only heard it yeah, once. Yeah. I, know, I know you guys could probably get more deep into it. But uh, for me, uh, from... What? What did you say? Nothing. nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just said deepness. <laughs> That's weird, dog. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, let's see. There's seven songs, right? Yeah, seven songs. Yeah. All right. So, out of those seven, seven songs. songs, I want to say two were pretty upbeat hype. You know, I really like those, uh, which was, I think, Yikes and All, All of Mine. Mine. All Mine. Yeah, All it's probably Mine. like the biggest one. Which one's yeah. Yikes? What, what number is that? The second one. The second one. Oh, okay, the one that has okay. like the really upbeat. Yeah, the ones that, the two that have the star on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my favorite one's got to be All Mine, though. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a little sample. Right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah that, that was my favorite one. And then uh, the rest were pretty good, too. I mean, like I said, they were, they were more uh, downbeat. But mm-hmm. I really like the. I heard some of the licks for those, and I really like those. I gotta hear it again, like I said. But overall, that's why I said I gotta give it like a seven, eight. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good yeah. overall. That's cool. I that's liked cool. it. Um, so I initially gave it a six because, like I've said before, I'm more lyrical than the beats, and Kanye's known more for the beats. And this one was dope on the beats, like the, yeah. the his uh, what is it? His producing on it was super dope. And again, all mine or all might. That one just yeah. all flows. Might. Is it all might or all, all mine? All mine. Oh, yeah. yeah, that thing just flows. That thing's <laughs> dope. You have to say in Spanish, we don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you understand stole me on But to me, my favorite song was the last one because it's, it's pretty lyrical. So that's why I gave it a six because it's like, okay. Violent crime. Yeah, like I could go on without, you know, listening to the first six songs. But then on the second time I heard it, the the all mine just grew on me more so that's why it grew to a seven but we were analyzing it and there are like the tmz uh the whole slavery was an option thing he does include that into his songs he includes his whole depression and all that into his songs again which was cool right yeah Yeah, yeah, because he's actually talking about it but to me the first one it's like he repeated himself too many times saying like oh i love myself more than i love you like, mm-hmm. if you would have just said it twice, cool. But three or four times? That's a little <laughs> too much for me. But, yeah, that's why I gave it a seven. Mm. Well, as you know, based on, like, what, two, three episodes, I'm a huge Kanye fan. <laughs> so, kind of biased. But, um, again, I gave it an eight, eight and a half. It's not perfect. Um, There's some, like, bars here and there that kind of like, ah, 
No, yeah, yeah, that was that was clever, but nothing like what usual Ye does when he like really just goes in. This, I mean, I can when because when I think of the circumstances, like he's producing like uh, like he's producing. He produced Pusha T's album that just yeah. came out, which is really good. Daytona, we gotta listen to that one. Uh, he's also producing, I think Tiana Taylor's new album. He's producing Nas' new album. He's producing an album with him and Cudi on it. Uh, who else? He's doing doing a bunch of work. So, Cudi, Cudi. What did I say? Cudi. Okay. <laughs> I said Cudi. I said Cudi. Oh, Kid Cudi. Back to elementary. <laughs> I was like Cudi. <laughs> Cudi though. Oh, sorry about that. No. <laughs> All right, Kid Kid, Kid Cudi. Uh, so yeah, he's doing a lot of work. So I can see. Well, first, I'm kind of glad it was only seven songs. If it was ten, I'll maybe yeah, cool. But I just worry when artists dump like thirty thousand songs on one project. Like I think Chris Brown, his re- most recent album has like twenty something songs. Damn. I only got through like five, and I'm like, yeah, it's, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I can't really do much. Um, but yeah, I like I don't know. I like because. I feel like the artist can put more into each song than rather putting yeah, a little bit of less than like 20. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty, So yeah. quality over quantity? Kind of, yeah. yeah. That, and that, that concept. So I do like that. Um, but again, when you're producing a bunch of tracks, it can be yeah. easy. But in this case, in my opinion, I don't think he lacked on the production. I think he did really oh, good. Yeah. I think it's some of his best production in a while. Well, obviously, because last album was like released two years ago. Which was St. Pablo, Pablo, which we went to the show for. And that was cool. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. With oh, yeah. The random guy came up to me and I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> you know, we went with your uh, cousin Helen. Yeah. Um, hey. That. Don't, yeah, don't blur that, it out don't again. Blur <laughs> out. I'm seeing it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was cool. That, that was a great show. Um, <laughs> but this one, it felt. Like, obviously, it feels like an update in terms of, like, what he's. Like, it felt like. He if he could tweet out music, this is what he would tweet out. Like he's updating us in every song of how he's feeling, like whether it's about his bipolar condition or his depression or even talking about the whole TMZ and the slavery kind of the conversation, the interviews and stuff. <clears throat> so it feels like that. Um I, f- I feel like this would felt more like what's the word? Concrete. Con con yeah, in the sense that each song Although the transitions weren't yeah, the, crazy smooth, but it it felt like each song belonged in this project. Like Saint Pablo, if like I think Edward said it perfectly earlier. He said it sounded like a mixtape. Yeah, where it was just a lot of work oh, put okay. together. So do you know what the difference between a mixtape and a not album? Not, not so a mixtape. Do you know what just, music is? Nah, dude, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is that? <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> Sound. So basically, an album is just something that has like a theme. A to theme. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, like logic, just different songs. Yeah. So logic with his like whole spaceship or whatever. Oh, okay, for sure. But a mixtape, yeah, yeah. it's just it could be random songs that are just put together. Yeah. And. No, okay. Yeah, it's like They're a scrapbook. Fine. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like tracks. Yeah, different songs. You got it. Yeah, I got it. So you know when you get Legos and you put them together sometimes? Not nah, random Legos. Can you simplify it even more for me, dog. <laughs> nah, I don't think I can. Uh, you separate the black ones, the red ones, the yellow. <laughs> when you ones, get beans and yeah. and eggs and put them on tortilla, that's kind of like a mixtape. They might not exactly flow together. They do flow together. No, no, but like, <laughs> they do like, flow and like on a menu, like, oh, why would you eat that, bro? But to us, it's like, it works. Once you take a bite, it works. Nah, it's confusing me more. Than yeah. Whatever, just move on. <laughs> Moving on. I'm, never <clears throat> I'm hungry and sleepy. Don't make me get crazy, dude. <laughs> get crazy up in here. <laughs> but going back to the album, I enjoyed it. I No, I think it's a mixture of, like, stuff you can, like, just you know, bounce to in the car, yeah. you know, just hanging out, playing in the barbecue or something. And the other ones are, like, some where you're just laying down in your bed looking at the wall, like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> If I have a daughter, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta let her know. Gotta be careful out here with these guys. Um, which is the last song? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was talking about yeah. his daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, unless he has a secret baby, like oh. Drake. But that's for later. Um, nice transition, dude. Hey, hey, hey you're segueing <laughs> into. <it. laughs> no, but overall, oh, overall, I think I think it was a cool, great project. I think it was dope. I think it was a cool update. Um, there are some bars in there again that I'm like, ooh. Like some clever stuff, like when he talks about Russell Simmons, oh, yeah. how he like the Me Too, but then he also got Me Too'd or Me Too because Russell Simmons was accused recently. He was on the news, oh, okay. like sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. That was a clever little jab there. But 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything too like whoa. Yeah, no. like oh man, like anything too crazy. Like I would say, like what Nizes, when he's just like it was wild and crazy, but we got the idea of it. Like, he's just yeah. mad and going crazy in that project. This one is like okay, cool. Like he's kind of chilled out. It's it sounds a lot like a reflection project. If that makes mm-hmm. sense, like he's reflecting a lot in this album. So I don't know. That's my take on it. I mean, question. Do yes. you guys think it'll go classic or it's just a, an album of his? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I think... <laughs> to me, it's just an album. It's just... It's not, you know, I don't I think am. it's going to go classic. I th- yeah, for me, I think it's... I don't think it will. I mean, I think some songs are going to be around, like especially this summer. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that. Yeah, like <laughs> All Mine. That, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's just yeah, boom, it hits. It hits yeah. yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, I think there's some cool songs in there. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll be a classic. I mean, if, for me, if like a lot of tracks, like there was one track, I think it might have been, there was a rock track, I think it was Ghost Town. That one, because I know he did like a rockish feel song with Kid Cudi a while back. Yeah. Um, I forgot what it was, what it was titled, but I wasn't a big fan of it. But this one, I was like, oh, shoot, like, I like this one. This works for me. Um. And then there's another one that he did that I felt it reminded me a lot of Graduation. And that's my favorite Kanye album. So I thought that was cool. Um, but other than that, it's just you just really have to listen to it. And mm-hmm. I think everybody's going to have their own take on it. I have I read some reviews. Some people were saying, like, production-wise, it's dope. Lyrically, it's whack. Some people were saying the other way around. Yeah, everybody has their own opinion. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, I would definitely recommend listening to it. It's, I think it's a, dope, it's a great project. It's a great... Especially with this summer, it's like right borderline summer. Like summer's coming in, you got some summer hits there. Oh, man, summer. Yeah, so too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. I don't like summer. <laughs> oh man! If summer was a nice, even seventy-seven summer. with a nice breeze, oh, that's perfect. That'd be perfect. I love it. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I said, pretty much spring. Like it will spring that. all all around, <laughs> and it'd be great. I could do with that. So <laughs> it'd be it'd be fine. But so it's yeah, it's Kanye, maybe we could do something yeah. about that. Just maybe talk about the weather. We don't have school right now. Mm-hmm. Just be happy you don't have school right now. Yeah, but I'm still gonna be working outside with kids. They have Reese's and all that, so I'll be outside. <laughs> I might be working with kids if I do get this job. I'm gonna apply for hey, it. Good. Hey. Children, <laughs> but moving on, yeah. See, you distracted me, bro. <laughs> then <laughs> 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 just going to tell my kids, man, kids, I love them. I want, I want some of my own, man. No, so I mean, me a father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but talking about kids. Segway. Boom. See, that's why I started Ooh, talking about it. That. You didn't even see it coming, huh? Man. Um, <laughs> does Drake have a secret child? Hey, no, hold up. First, first of all, what's what's the story behind Drake and Pusha T? Like before, this? okay? Because oh, I mean, okay. I don't, I really don't know anything. Okay, about, so about them. it's funny because I was watching. Remember, I told you about the H three H three podcast. You yeah. know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I know who they yeah. are. Yeah. So they have an intern, Ian, and he did like a crazy PowerPoint in like an hour about uh-huh. the whole beef, and it spans to like. They made a PowerPoint. Yeah, he made a PowerPoint, and it was like 2012. So, damn. Uh, Lil Wayne tweeted something like, uh, F, I think he said F, push T and everybody who loves him, whatever. Yeah. So then that started the whole thing, and then I know there's track, I'm, I'm not sure what it was, but there's some tracks that they start like dissing each other. Even Drake has one. Pusha T mentioned some, um, but it kind of just dies down after that. And then recently, the most recent track with uh, Infrared off of Daytona, which yeah, is Pusha yeah, T's new yeah, album. Yeah. Uh, Edward, let's, oh, well, yeah, you guys. Yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, he, he, you hear him talk about essentially calling out Drake for ghostwriting and whatnot. So um, basically, Pusha T resurfaced the beef? In a sense, so, yeah. So the, Drake and him were never like cool or anything? Uh, I don't. I don't believe so. Uh, if they were, they're definitely uh, not uh, now. Yeah, it's, it's um, kind of like they kind of forgot about it, but it was still. So there like, was already beef, like way back. Yeah, then. I think it was. It was just there. Bit, and yeah, they, just they just put oh, some okay. wood into the fire. Just, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't know that. So that being said, so now it moves on to him just calling him out, this and that. Like there's a line where he says something, Quentin, and I was playing to yeah, 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 Quentin Miller. Yeah. Um. So yeah, his ghostwriter that he may have more. So. Wait, wait, to who? For Drake. Okay. Yeah, yeah for yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the supposedly this guy named Quentin Miller who writes for and with Drake uh, is also supposedly, allegedly, his ghostwriter along with possibly other ghostwriters. Yeah. Because in the rap game, if it's, I guess it's semi-oh cool to have writers as long as you give them the credit. 
But when you have Ghost Riders, it's like yeah, you're cheating. It's yeah, like, come on, dude. No credit yeah, no all. respect for that. So there's that whole thing. But I mean, uh, there's that. And then, so then, oh, Drake responds with Dubby Freestyle. Which, and, and I'm upset. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was so W that freestyle, was and then he released. Yeah. I'm upset a little after. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, the whole W. What, what does? Oh it yeah, mean? so Duppy means like a male- a malevolent spirit. So a bad spirit. In what culture? In the Jamaican. Oh, in the Jamaican culture, yeah. I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. He, yeah, he, yeah, I don't know. I had to do research. Really, yeah, I, yeah, I really wanted to say that because it was. I'm interested. Like, if I think the most recent beef we had was the Drake Meek Mill. But as we know, that ended real quick. Um, back to back, still a great song. Awesome. The charge one he did was okay, but back to back was great. This W Freestyle, I think it was a dope song. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, no, I think it was dope. I think Not, uh, like, the thing, the problem I had was I listened to the story of a of Adidon before. Yeah. Oh, okay. so yeah so i got the full hit without knowing what yeah, drake did without, okay so i could see how drake because at first i'm like oh i heard that he mentioned because okay this is a part where drake says virginia williams yeah that's Pusha t's fiance yeah, so yeah, he I, puts I her name in the yeah but he also mentions his brother his cousin because his when him and his brother were rapping together in a group called clips way back in the early 2000s his brother's stage name was malice but now he like you know he went through like uh born again christian and he's going to church and making different music now yeah. he changes his name or stage name to no malice mm-hmm. so i'll play in, in one's own like his own name yeah. so then he says something jake says something like, oh so about the drug dealing blah 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 you got no malice in your heart oh. so he essentially also puts his brother's name in there and then he calls out kanye oh your producer he's yeah. like, you, the guy who worked who you work for is younger than you like it's yeah. essentially just bashing him um he went more personal than t did yeah. yeah and then saying yeah. like saying you're nowhere in anybody's top five you know yeah. the whole yeah, thing yeah. Like, like you're not n- even your uh record label yeah your regular and then yeah. like because i think i'll explain i'll explain after where i think they're where i think pusha t wins and how he took advantage of the situation okay so we move on we gotta i'm upset ah it's okay yeah, yeah that's yeah, more I'm general upset. yeah I'm it sounds like a more yeah, general yeah, yeah, like it could have been in an album yeah like migos could have been on it yeah. like you could have migos <laughs> they could have popped on it and i'm like okay Offset, yeah, and then but <laughs> offset <That's> only off- <laughs> yeah. offset. Be offset that used to do. Uh, <laughs> so there's that, and then obviously we have the story of added on. Yeah. So when I first heard that, I was like, dude, oh, he killed, it, yeah. he killed it. Like I heard, I was like, dude, like, he, he, he right. literally went after his dad, his mom, his possible baby mama, his, his possible yeah. baby, and his producer forty, yeah. who had nothing to do with the situation. So he did that. Oh, wait, is it ticking? Oh. So that being I said, agree. um, yeah, he Pusha T did his research. He, yeah, yeah, dude. I was telling like Lewis in. that I feel like he wouldn't have done all that if Drake didn't get as personal as he did on Honestly, yeah. the other one. I think what pushed him was like him me- me- mentioning his his wife, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. So and it was it w- if it wasn't for that, yeah. he would have just been like, okay, yeah. uh, maybe another like uh, what was the the second one that Drake did? I'm upset. Yeah, I'm maybe something yeah. more there, more general. Yeah, more general. Yeah. But not T went like. Yeah, yeah, dude. He yeah, dude. I was like, dang. So yeah, it's, it. it's crazy because I didn't like that's because of the story added on. I it made me go deep into okay, what the heck? Yeah, and that's yeah, when I realized yeah. the whole Lil Wayne thing, this and that. But Young Money. Yeah, Young Money. So it's not like Young Money, good music in a sense. Because I know along way back, Drake had a little something with Common, who's part of the good music label. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't know what happened to that. That kind of just died down. I know he. I don't know if Common released an official diss track, but I know he like would mention him here and, here and mm. there. But I mean that that's pretty much died down. But this one is obviously revived. And no, yeah. I mean, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think um, Pusha T went too far? Because do you get the forty line where he says, "Oh, you're forty OVO forty looking bent over like no bent over looking like he eighty or something like that." No. Okay. So OVO forty is Drake's producer. Who's essentially the mastermind behind all his hits, all his tracks? Yeah, all the beats. Yeah, basically. yeah, it's like pretty, pretty much Drake's sound is OVO Forty. Right. Thing is, OVO Forty has a disease called MS. Uh, let me Google it real quick. Let's see, did you know any of this? I I knew his producer, but I didn't yeah. know that he had a disease. Oh, because right. uh, the if you think about it, maybe I'm going ahead of myself, but. Drake is more of a pop artist. He's not much of a, you know, 
Yeah. So his beats really stick push, up. Yeah. yeah. That would. Pull yeah, yeah. Pull and again, I don't think T would have attacked his producer yeah, had he not if gone, Drake didn't yeah, get attack him his producer. Yeah, yeah. Which to me was like a low blow. <clears throat> Because T Drake, was attacking uh, yeah. Drake's ghostwriters, which don't get credit, but Drake attacked his producer, but the producer gets credit, so it's like, yeah. yeah so he says over your forty hunched over like he eighty tick tick tick. How oh, much like time he got? Part. That man is sick sick sick. I got the devil yeah. flow mm, six 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 six. Yeah. So he does a, he he like plays with the six six. So that's like yeah, the, the, like the that sound part. bite. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah. oh man, I didn't know it was about that. Oh, mm-hmm. right. Dang. So oh, yeah, so he has, he yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 snip, snip, snip. <laughs> yeah. He has multiple you know, his sclerosis, yeah. MS. Multiple sclerosis. And the crazy thing is, I saw a tweet where OVO forty. Well, he he tweeted. Um, coincidentally, today is a uh, World MS Day. The day after the the, yeah, the yeah, disc yeah, yeah. was released. So, so he yeah, it was released it, and then because if I don't know if coincidence okay. in or case, in that case i feel like he went a little too far <laughs> if it's i mean if like, we're playing nah. chess then part of the business well that's the thing yeah do you think he went too far whether it's when he talked I mean, when he mentions his mom his dad or the baby mama or put well again alleged because nobody knows for not sure. the baby mama because i mean he attacked his wife so i mean he had the right to go there and then the producer thing about going into the disease though like <laughs> yeah uh, you feel uh, so? that i don't know I mean, that's, that's the disease what do you that think? He's going I, I, I don't think it's too that's the disease deep. that he's going through, bro. Like, like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah. I don't think it's too deep because again, it's it's part of the business. If you're going into this, it's a diss track. Yeah, if you're going to diss like somebody, this. you better expect something. Yeah, but the harder. producer had nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> like damn, it's man. one of those things. I don't know. Again, you better get a raise from Drake. I man. personally wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'm too scared. But yeah. Pusha T said the gloves are off. And there's no limits. Yeah. And Pusha T said there aren't any skeletons in my closet that shouldn't be there. Oh, okay. Like everything's out in the open. Come at yeah, me. Yeah, you can use whatever you want. In, in the song, he says we're going to take this back layer by layer. Oh, yeah, so that means yeah. Pusha T has <laughs> yeah. ammo. He's ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Drake does too. But I don't know if you saw Drake's response recently. Oh, he responded already? Not exactly. I haven't. Not. So he, oh, do you, oh, you want to go ahead? So the cover of the the song it has well, is it Drake when he was yeah, yeah no it's Drake yeah, yeah. So it has yeah. Drake when he was younger with the black face on it. Oh, yeah. yeah and this is this was Drake's response oh no yeah okay I yeah so he then. like po- yeah. he essentially posted like he did notes and screenshot and yeah. explaining why why he had that picture was up the yeah. thing is I get it cool I understand. But you're in a battle right now. Yeah. You need to fire back. Yeah, you can't. That is clear. a sign of weakness. Mm-hmm. Not saying, like, essentially, oh, he's not a man. No, I'm saying, and you're battling, you got to respond back. Like, yeah, yeah. you can't be explaining things. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't explain. Yeah, you just gotta it's fire like, back. It's like, like a bad joke. A bad yeah. joke, you have to explain. Yeah, yeah. It. And it's like, <laughs> it doesn't hit hard. So it's like, ah, oh, come on, dude. So I was excited to see what he was trying to. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll release something, but I think at this point, Push T has. Uh, oh, yeah. the Lego like he has oh, a point yeah, yeah. He has no, a point yeah. I gotta, I gotta give it to way him like, ahead of Drake right yeah now. no I was it was disrespectful yeah. but it was <laughs> so good but it's so disrespectful again I personally want to do that but it's Pusha T he's always angry no yeah same here sure. yeah. Um, I, I do say he went too far but like it's, it's sick it's, like, yeah, it, was, <laughs> like, it was well done it's like uh, yes. he said tick 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 <laughs> yeah. I was like oh no Dang. But I mean, it's funny because I I like to go watch like YouTube video reactions mm-hmm. to the songs, and people are like, "Oh!" <laughs> well, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's great for hip hop, though. I yeah, I don't we think we've had something had like any, this in a while. Yeah, we haven't had any big beef back to back to back like they're going back like to that. back in a yeah. while, which I I miss. Pun intended. <laughs> which I back to back. <laughs> you don't get it back to back. Yeah, it's great. It's okay, it's just saying. Great. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, what do you what do you think is gonna happen though? What do you what do you guys think? Do you think Drake's gonna respond, come back with some fire? Or do you think it's over? Do you think that I, I'm pretty sure he'll respond, but like I don't I don't know he if he has could, to like, respond with yeah. something strong. How many yeah, more? But not? that's the thing. Like I don't know if he could like come back from that. How many more days do you guys give him? Huh? How many more days? Because you know, like if you resp- like, the, I mean, if he responds uh, next month, has it been already? Uh, I think it's been like a couple what? days. We're talking about uh. Oh, so yeah, the amount of time that Drake has left. Like, I feel like it's... I think it needs to be soon, honestly. Is it this weekend latest, is I think. Is it Drake that needs time? 
Or is it his alleged Ghost Rider? <laughs> I think he's, he's calling the Avengers of Ghost Riders. Hey, come on, y'all. We got to come in. Again, oh, um, I was explaining to Edward the whole thing about the story of Adidon, why it's titled that. Mm. Mm-hmm. So his alleged son is, his name, I believe, is Adonis. So Drake has a, collab- is a, collab- has a collaboration with, the, oh, I just started there, has a collaboration with Adidas. Yeah, he left, he left Jordan brand for Adidas. Mm-hmm. And he's labeling it uh, Adidon. And uh, supposedly, it's in dedicate. the name is in dedication to um, Adonis. his son Adonis. Adonis. That's why yeah. Pusha T, he's, he says a line where he talks about like, really, like, you just going to give your son, you get, oh, let's see, turn character. Uh, oh. Adonis is your son. He deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's real. Damn. So he's essentially like, and here's the crazy, I was telling him, look, if I'm correct, I could be wrong. I feel like a majority of Drake fans are gals, ladies, you know? Yeah. And I think, imagine this. Imagine you're a gal, you're a fan, big fan. Imagine Drake announces, I got a new Adidas run. The name added on, dedicated to, to my son. baby son. Yeah. You go crazy. Oh my gosh, he has a baby. Ah! And it, it just helps that the baby just happens to be so cute. So it's like it's it's it's, it's a perfect yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah they show have pictures. Um <laughs> Yeah, we got yeah, I've gone deep. Yeah. <laughs> I got my files. <laughs> but so imagine that. That's per, that's like the perfect storm for Drake. Yeah. That's that like everything. Rack up some money for him and, right yeah, there. Yeah, and even maybe now, like I was uh, listening to some reactions and how they're saying, Oh, maybe Drake thought, Oh, this is good for my music. I got an album coming out. This is good for both of us, you know. Promotion, people were like hyped up, but I just don't think Jake expected. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> what, what it pushes, yeah, yeah, what yeah, did, yeah. Pusha T just killed it. Yeah, honestly, she, bro. Like he put up all the skeletons Drake yeah. had, which makes me wonder: Do you think he's been paying child support, or he has to? That's the thing. That's that's the that's the story. Okay. Um, so here's something that I didn't know: that his name's actually Adonis. I thought it was oh, more... Oh, theory, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen Rocky... Oh, Creed. Yeah, so... Hold up, Louis. Hold up. Is so this? Rocky... Is this a conspiracy theory? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so after the Rocky Sega, they made the, the Creed movies. And the main character's name is Adonis. Adonis Creed. So it's like... Adonis doesn't have a dad. Yeah, he does it. Well... Yeah, yeah, he died. Because he died? Yeah, he died already. You saw Creed, no? Yeah. No, I haven't seen Creed. You I've seen Rocky's, but... <gasps> well, you yeah, know Apollo like, Creed? That's his dad. Yeah, Apollo. Like, one of Rocky's biggest uh, mm. enemies. Because yeah, a- yeah. Apollo had an affair, and then came Adonis. Yeah. But Apollo's well, widow, his wife, uh, took Donnie in and raised her as his own. Uh, as her own. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's like... I We were talking about, like, maybe we read too much into it. Maybe, how like maybe. yeah how like <laughs> he called him or his son adonis i'm like oh i'm assuming he's like oh he's like adonis who doesn't have a dad and, and creed i mean either way that would have been crazy like yeah. oh okay i see you um but yeah and then so so i'm just thinking like yo like push t as brutal as he is this is such a i don't think it's coincidence the fact that right before drake i don't know when he was gonna make the announcement but imagine now it's it's not the same. Yeah, because he just like Pusha T put it up. Yeah, if Drake, if Drake was like, I'm um, oh, I can't wait making woo, he's now saying boom. Pusha T was like, nah, stop nah. that real quick. I'm gonna do it for you. Yeah, so it's like whoa, and which then, is a chess player's move. Yeah, yeah, it's so far he he read so far ahead of Drake that it's like now nah, I'm gonna stop you. You ain't got a you you can't do a checkmate on me at least not now, but. Going on to, like, the baby mama, I was telling Lewis earlier that it's messed up because a lot of, like, uh, females found her Instagram and they started talking crap about her that because of her, Drake didn't get with Rihanna or with, like, j or whatever. But at that point, it was Drake's decision not to do that. Like, the baby mama had nothing to do with it because it was way after. So, why are the females still attacking the baby mama when, you know, it's a little messed up. Good point. No, yeah, so... I mean, but here's the thing again. It's like there's no there's no limits now. I think Drake set the standard and Pusha yeah. T just brought it up there. Uh, and again, we'll see. Again, Pusha T even said like, "I'm not scared. Like, mm-hmm. come at me with all you got." Yeah, he pokes him. And again, he says layer by layer. So I'm Slow. sure Pusha yeah. T has some more stuff we don't know about. He's like, oh, I know where the I know where they live. I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's 
it's just i think it's great though i think it's brutal but it's great for hip-hop for music in general um people are picking signs obviously who are you are you team jake team push I don't, I don't have a side, bro. Wrong answer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a side. Are you side. team push or team Drake? T. Oh, right. Yeah. Wait. Push T. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? T? What are you just team? <laughs> T for team. Um, I feel like by default. I mean, I like I like Drake. Drake yeah. is great. But I feel like I'm automatically team pusher. Well, first, because it was a great track. I love his album, too. Great album. Uh, I give that a 9 out of 10. I what is it? His out of 10. new album? Daytona? Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard it. It's, right. I think it's really good. Um, short, sweet. He said what he had to say. It's another right. seven seven song album, right? Yeah, another seven song album. I think I'm a, all of them are gonna be seven songs. But before I go off on a whole tangent, um, what was I saying? Same side, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I have to. Cause it's good <laughs> music. Side, yeah. Kanye's label. Kanye fans. I just got yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's it. <laughs> I'm too scared to just decide. Nah, I just. For what? <laughs> <laughs> For what? <laughs> You're it's walking, music, walking man. in the street. <laughs> Choose a team, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, if anything else you want to add on, what you, what you're looking forward to in terms of whether it's Kanye or good music or anything, the, the responses to see like what you know. Like, no, <laughs> I want to see he has just, more like more uh, things to talk. Yeah, about. what else like, can he do? Yeah, 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 that's that's pretty much it. What about you, Edward? Same. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I want to see like the results of what happens after this song. Like if uh, Drake's Adidas run is still gonna be good. That's big. And what's stuff. gonna yeah. happen to his relationship with his son now that it's like? Cause this is kind of big. <laughs> Dad, the world found out yeah, about exactly. me through a diss song. <laughs> like a really, really good one. <laughs> really good. Yeah. 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 He so, got you in that one, Dad. That, that's what I want to see. I want to see like what happens in the future if you will no, yeah. as well as you know drake's rebuttal yeah. oh yeah and living in in an era of like social media and stuff like the memes that are coming in uh, yeah. oh <laughs> like and, and i think that's what helped drake defeat meek mill you guys seen the one with, the, with lebron like holding the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, drake, yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> oh, man. and that's i think for example when drake knocked out meek mill like the and when, when he performed the song in one of his shows, he had the memes like on the projector. Oh, yeah? Damn. So, yeah. Damn, so, he used that to his advantage. So, in living in, imagine this. Like, it's just already, we're already seeing stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's going to get that juicy. That me when I saw him walking. <laughs> like, All right. Damn. But that being said, uh, anything else you guys want to add on? Love. Anything else? No? You guys got anything to complain about? Yeah. Fucking double parking, bro. Uh, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> here, dog. Hates my neighborhood <laughs> parking. Not just out here though. Like it's happened to me in other places. Like when I went to go pick up Oscar last time too. Mm. Like some some couple, there was two cars here, so they started backing up. I was like, right, cool. I'll park there while I wait for Oscar to come out. Oh yeah. He comes me. out a little bit, and then he walks out the car, gets into the other car, backs it up, and just stays in the middle, and then just gets out and then leaves. That's annoying. But, and then right here too I just saw right now I was about to park and then the, the, the guy gets off his car puts it in the middle and then takes off in his other car <laughs> double parking man like don't do it like if you lose the spot you lose the spot <laughs> let other people get to park <laughs> please <laughs> like come on, come on guys <laughs> but that's pretty much I parked all the way around the corner dog yeah, yeah. I, why don't you park in the alley Cause your your car's like in the in the middle. Just park double park too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. I don't I apologize. <laughs> but uh, imagine you fake. You're lying about that. Who's really about this car? But uh, yeah, nah, dude. That's that's I gotta go in about. Nah, yeah, don't don't double annoying. park, guys. Uh, what about you, Edward? Anything? I don't think so. Ed. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> yeah, no. I already got the old people out of my system. <laughs> uh, he's man. He's a lot old of things. <laughs> he's a lot of things, anybody. <laughs> Um. Yeah, it's good. I got nothing to complain about. Great no. week. Great week so far. School's yeah. almost done. Just a just a great week. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, great week. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um. Oh, quick announcement. So last time we said we were gonna upload on apps and stuff and whatever podcast podcast app, we lied because audio was not great. But this episode we are. So consider this season two, episode one, officially on Anchor. Hopefully we successfully connect to the itunes podcast app uh other than that we'll include all the links down below follow us on um, potatoes on couch 
And yeah, any shout outs you guys want to give? Nothing? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Nobody nah, deserves nah, a nobody. shout out. <laughs> nobody. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> is this it? <laughs> is that's, that's it. it. You're yeah. not going to give any shout outs? You usually give shout outs to. I was going to, but I think I shouldn't. I'll hold back on this one. All right. All right. How about to like everyone you usually do? Like, you know, I'll good. say the name they, uh, say. and stuff. Wait. Oh, yeah, those shout outs. They don't respond, bro. Damn. I'm pretty sure they have. So you're just going to sec- stop? You're going to get All right. Like yo, Zendaya, what up? <laughs> shout out to you, Kira. What's up? I know your show just ended, but it's great. You guys are still making money in music. Uh, to all the ladies in we're the place, we're styling great. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I just click on I should say something like that. Um, other than that. You got to stop them, don't you? Gosh, dude. I, I didn't think you were going to take it there, so I was like, oh, I, what? I was what like, do you think? Like, oh, <laughs> gosh. It's because you paused a little you bit. See, I was thinking the lyrics. I didn't want to be like, uh, the place? <laughs> okay, but well, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. God bless. Stay tuned for more. And yeah, check us out on our social media, on YouTube. Subscribe, turn notifications on so you know when a new episode comes out. Other than that, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Peace out.